Hello guys, welcome back to Envision Academy. So today's story is a debt made profit. Tortoise picked up his walking stick, put on his cap and announced to his wife, I am going to town, I won't be long. What Tortoise did not announce was that he had just spied his friend Monkey bounding full speed towards the house and what again Tortoise did not announce was that Tortoise owed him three months salary. So Tortoise crept out through the back door. A few steps later he was hidden in the tall grass to listen to what went on while he was away. A minute later, there was a very angry Mr. Monkey hammering at Tortoise's door. Tortoise opened up at once. I have had enough of your dirty tricks. Open up, I say. When the door did open, there was no Tortoise inside the house. Only Tortoiseka, Tortoise's wife, awkwardly. Monkey began to eat his words and they tasted very prickly and embarrassing indeed. Oh, eh, madam, I am dreadfully sorry. I didn't realize it was you. It's just that poverty can make one bad-tempered. Is your husband home? I have a small matter to discuss with him. My husband? Oh, dear, he left a moment ago. Monkey fought down his anger. Of course, Mr. Monkey, would you like to leave um, a message? I would be happy to pass it on when he returns. No, madam, just tell him I will be back, that's all. He will know what for. Monkey left as hungry as he had come. Now he was also angry. The two feelings mingled inside him and as if electrified twitched his long arms he this way and that that tortoise if i could get hold of him i would break his head like a coconut tortoise quietly washed his day collector vanished round the bend a few slow steps and he was back at his own front door any visitors while i was away my sweet he inquired his in his most innocent voice. Only Mr. Monkey replied Tortesca. Oh, it must have been about that expensive contract he promised to award me. Tortoise lied. But you know these contractors, how unreliable they are. Still, we should hope for the best. But now Tortesca lets eat dinner. Tomorrow came and with it came Monkey. Tortoise still owed him money, yet Monkey could not afford a single ground nut. Yes, a hungry monkey is an angry monkey, especially if he is hungry through no fault of his own. Who, oh, Tortoise, will you pay today? Just let him wait and see. Monkey mumbled to himself as again he knocked on Tortoise's door. But again, it was the same story as yesterday. No tortoise, no money. Only Madame Tortesca. And even more infuriatingly, the delicious smell of groundnut soup wafting from the kitchen. He sniffed and his appetite made him feel dizzy. Yet even monkeys have their pride. No, he would not beg. He left his debt still unpaid. Another tomorrow came and again came Monkey, hungrier and angrier than ever, and Tortoise hid in the long grass at the back of the house till Monkey had gone. This is too much, complained Tortoise into his soup. A tortoise can have no peace, no or privacy in his own home or what? No, this monkey needs to be taught a lesson. And in his trickish mind, Tortoise weighed one trick against another. Let me see now the words he quote from some studious corner inside Tortoise's shell. Ah, yes, that's it. That's what I will do. And Tortoise stuck out his head and triumphant smile crinkled across his mouth. 
it was time to call Tortesca, his better off and partner in trickery. Tortesca, my sweet, come, now there's a one small thing I want you to do for me. Yes, Tortoise, what is it? This monkey is getting too troublesome for his own good. The way he is always disturbing you, I don't like it at all. Now, I have just been thinking about what to do about it. Next time monkey comes clattering and battering at our door, I want you to turn me upside down and uh, you understand? Upside down? Laugh Tortesca. Yes, upside down. Don't laugh. I am serious. Then, after you have turned me upside down, place me in the same place that you usually keep your grinding stone. Then, when monkey comes, tell him I am out as usual. Then I will explain the rest later. However peculiar it was, Tortesca agreed to do what Tortoise had asked. Next day, at the crack of, crack of dawn, there was monkey clattering and battering at Tortoise's door and shouting, All right, Tortesca, whispered Tortoise into her ear. You know what to do. Now do it. Tortesca lifted her husband into mid-air. One, two, three, and there Tortoise found himself upside down and right in the place where Tortesca usually kept her grinding stone. With his head and feet tucked inside his shell and his shiny flat stomach, you could hardly tell the difference. Bang, bang, bang. Again came monkey snarks like a machine gun. You could hear the anger inside them. This time monkey meant business, but tortoise meant business also. Tortoise opened the door. Where is tortoise? Monkey demanded without stopping for so much as a greeting. Good morning, greeted Tortesca, nevertheless bravely and politely standing her ground. No, it is not good morning, Mrs. Tortoise. It is a bad morning. Now, I don't want any nonsense this time, I said. Where is he? Mr. Monkey, I am terribly sorry, but he has gone out again. I can't help it that my husband is such a walk about. I have had enough, every time the same story, playing me up and down like a small boy, like I am the one who owes him, not the other way round. Well, I won't stand for it. And as if to emphasize his point, Monkey started to jump up and down and from side to side, waving his long arms about like a windmill in a hurricane. He continued his furious dancing and prancing and started to look for something to throw. It didn't matter what. He tucked inside his shell tortoise. The grinding stone was having great difficulty stopping himself from laughing aloud. Mr. Monkey was acting exactly according to plan. Burging his way past Torkeska, first monkey threw a cooking pot then he threw some tomatoes then he threw a bar of soap and then and then he threw the grinding stone or what he thought was a grinding stone powered by all the might of monkey's anger tortoise flew through the air like a rocket scattering leaves and nest birds along the way his head tucked safely inside his shell he prepared himself for quite a long journey but even the the most powerful rocket has to land sometime. The garden flashed past him and the occasional blue blur of sky. Tortoise buried his head till deeper inside his shell and waited for the coming crash. Meanwhile, back inside the house, Tortesca was weeping. So, is this how you behave, Mr. Monkey? She sobbed. And to think that was my prize grinding stone, which my tortoise torty gave me as a wedding present how am i going to get another one oh monkey is it too bad of you 
it is too bad of you monkey who had been so angry as be, had been so angry before was now highly embarrassed his anger had been blown itself out like a tornado and now he felt only regret after all it was not tortesca who owed him money he bowed his head in shame madam madam tortesca i am so sorry i just lost my temper and uh, and as monkey was groping for excuses and eating his words there was a sound at the door tortoise was back from his journey in space ah mr monkey i am so glad to see you welcome i have been expecting you all these days now so i can pay off my debt but let me just go and greet my wife you look like you could do with a decent meal after all you have lent me money and one good turn deserves another Tortoise went into the kitchen then he saw his wife in tears what had happened tortoise turned to monkey and demanded an answer oh tortoise forgive me i beg i threw your wife's grinding stone into the forest threw her grinding stone into the forest what on earth do you mean tortoise recoiled in false surprise Yes there is why she is that is why she is so upset monkey hopped from one leg to another in further embarrassment you see i didn't mean to throw it only i was angry because you had not paid me my money and but monkey how unfortunate i can hardly believe it that grinding stone was the very place where i kept your money armed robberies are common these days so i wanted a safe place nobody would think of looking in what better place than inside a grinding stone and now you have thrown it into the forest how very unfortunate unfortunate for both of us monkey groaned and started jumping up and down again If he wanted his money back what choice had he but to enter the forest and look for it back into the trees monkey scampered moneyless as he had come to start his search of course he never found his money or tortesca's grinding stone even though it had been standing before him and talking to him only moments before Tortoise never paid his debt either. Sometimes he hears monkeys swinging and crashing through the trees. Or this story is so old, perhaps it is one of monkeys' great great grandchildren. Sometimes it crosses Tortoise's mind to tell monkey or monkeys' great great grandchildren the truth and save him all the wasted energy. but swinging and crashing through the trees has become such a habit with the monkey that he would probably never listen not to tortoise not to anyone next time you see a monkey try telling him this story and see you can bet that he will carry on looking even though he was forgotten what for